as a mother, as a sister, as a daughter, you can't, uh, for me, to see a child in need and you're in a position to do something and you don't, I don't know, that should be a crime as far as I'm concerned. So the launch happened and then? So we went for the walk. So when was it at that launch that you guys decided, you know what? I said, so next year, we are going to do whatever we can, however little. Every life matters. Mm -hmm. Let's put up a small clinic. Let's say the Oluchi, you're a pharmacist, you're a medical, you have got a medical background. You are going to be the one to be in charge of this One project. of the mentees. Yes, Oluchi <laughs> Iekuna, uh -huh. she's, she's amazing. I'm actually glad. I mean, for me, the, I've learned from the mentees. They're just amazing young women. And um, so we thought, why don't we, um, we're gonna put up this clinic in one of the IDP camps. And from there on, we will um, support, support, support the children. It's for children. It's a pediatric clinic. Mm -hmm. I mean, something as small as a nutrition, a protein bar, what causes the, the malnutrition, the ex extended stomach and everything? Mm -hmm. It's lack of protein. So that was why you went for this walk? Yes, and we, we're trying to raise money. It's the first of the series mm -hmm. of fundraisers that we're going to do. Mm -hmm. and. Um, We've raised some money, it's not enough to put up this clinic, but we're not gonna stop there because- And then they also put up a clinic at- Yes, and then when we, then we, we the, the vice president, so I, Mrs. Oshibajo, her excellency, she, she was very gracious, she agreed to see us, and she gave us a lot of light into what really was happening. She said, you don't actually have to put it up in the camp. There's, there's, there are communities, recently liberated communities, that you don't, you can actually put this thing up. Because it's more permanent. It's more permanent. Mm -hmm. And um, she mentioned a particular place where there were 40,000 orphans in that community alone. Does it make you feel helpless that what you're trying to do is a drop in the ocean? Yeah. No, helpless is the wrong word, but I'm hope. I mean, I think a lot of people are doing things already, but it's just that we're not, we're not doing enough. Mm -hmm. I mean, in no civilized society would people leave everything for the government to do. We as citizens need to be our own, our brother's keeper as well. Mm -hmm. And really, a thousand naira a month could go a very long way. So what are you asking people to do? To donate. Because for us who are, you know, people that know you, you ask us, whatever it is, just bring some money, put it together so we can set up this clinic. Yes. So we will work, asking us to sponsor people to walk. Now the walk is over, but you can keep donating. Donating, yes. It's, it's just, so that we can put up these, uh, this clinic, the first one. We were hoping to do five over a period of what, two years, but can you imagine, don't you think it's criminal that a child should die of malaria in 2017? Just a packet mm -hmm. of lonat. <laughs> so what are you doing now? We're, we're hoping to put this clinic up, as I said. But first? Distribute drugs to these people? Just, no, for, the first thing we need to do is so help with the protein packs to the children. Mm -hmm. Monthly supplies, whereby the children will be given this pack. It would help their, their, um, that, their balance, malnutrition, their malnutrition, their diet. Because, uh, I, sorry, I, I'm really stuttering because I get, I get very emotional. I can imagine it. I about, hope you don't cry. Uh, no, well, I'm, you know, okay, let me tell you something. This idea is you're trying to raise money, you're trying to make sure that these people don't suffer, even if it's one kid that can help, you're going to do it. Yes. We should put their money where their mouth is. Now, how does this, is Woman of Vision trying to be an NGO? <laughs> oh, it, it's so, looking, so I, mean, I mean, I'm wondering. And it's, where does, it's looking that way in the sense that um, I don't like to structure, to put structure into things. You're yeah, moving with your spirit. I'm moving with my spirit. And luckily for me, some of the mentees, a lot of the mentees are moving with me. And you're one of our women of vision. You're moving with me. Because at ex every time you extend yourself to someone, you have no idea the ripple effect it has. So what's that, what's happened to Tiffany Amber and all the designs? Like, I like this blouse and I'm going to take it. I'm going to, I'm putting it on record. It's yours. Just, <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany Amber, Tiffany Amber is different. Tiffany Amber is on autopilot. Oh. Every year, we come up with two main collections and there's, we're constantly feeding all our concessions, all our own stores with, mm -hmm. with, the new, with designs all the time. You can't, I just, <laughs> 
This is just an extension of the brand. Mm -hmm. It's our social responsibility. Okay, because you're putting your money in it. Yes. I mean, with some support sometimes, you know. But however, now, you were not at the GT Fashion Week last week. You, last year, you were not in any fashion show. I, 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 as I said, I think 2016 was a year that I felt I needed to sit back, recalibrate, and think, where am I going? Where, where, what is the next? You know, it's like you're at a crossroad. Mm -hmm. And you take right, you go left, it's not necessarily the wrong direction. You go right, it's not necessarily the wrong, um, right direction. But it's where you're, it, it's just whatever direction you follow mm -hmm. has to be in line with your vision. And the vision for Tiffany Amber is a lot bigger than, than I am. Than clothes. It's a lot bigger than I am. It's, it's a heritage brand in the making. Mm -hmm. And already, I mean, how do, you, how do you build a heritage brand if the founder dies, there's enough on ground for somebody else to take the bat um, for, uh, to take the, the tone baton mm -hmm. and move and move on with it. And I think the DNA of the brand is very strong, if I may say so myself. And I mean, you can almost. So are you having the last laugh? Because I remember you couldn't even tell Daddy we're going into this business. No, I couldn't. <laughs> are you having the last laugh? No, I, yeah, but you know, then 18 <laughs> years ago, I I, I had done my degree in law, I did my master's in petroleum law, I came back to Nigeria, I qualified and a lawyer. And so cool. and my, I, say, I mean, I remember when my father jokes about it, he says, the tailor. <laughs> <laughs> it still refers to me as the tailor, but you know, everybody's proud about the brand. So what you've proven to me, and what I want my viewers to learn is that you are more than a tailor or designer, <laughs> you are, you are Folake Coca, you are Tiffany Amber, you are a woman of vision, and you want to create women of vision. And even if this persona sleeps forever, it will go on. Yes. So, I, I, when a lot of people that represent something tend to go with their core. And what's your core? I am... It's not, def it's not easy to define. Like now, <sighs> from time to time, every so many years, I would say I need to, there's so much distraction when you're running a business and you're mm -hmm. building, you need to just, I need to go and reconnect with my core. And that core is? My heart. <laughs> and that heart is resting in. I know you move around in your car with a Bible. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I know where it's coming from. Yeah. That's why I know. I want to thank you for being on the show, but if people don't remember anything at all, I want you to give one thing that must go away at the end of the day to tell my viewers, what's that one thing that must go away with? Wow. I always, do you know every time I talk, give a, I always find that, that, that people ask me that question and, and I always feel I'm never prepared. Mm -hmm. um, what is the one thing you should never, you should know, believe in yourself, your dreams. And you, what, and it's beyond you. It's, everything in life is beyond you. If you believe in God, mm -hmm. you know he will never take you to where you're not meant to be. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank I you. I appreciate you. And Thank I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. That's nice. what the show's been like today. I wish you could do one hour, but then again, Join the fight and join the cause. Stand against counterfeiting and more importantly, make sure the children in the IDPs don't suffer. Find out how you can make that happen. We'll see you again next week. Bye.